linear app tutorial for beginners hello everyone and welcome back in today's video i'll be showing you guys how you can use the linear application now the linear app is a tool that allows you to plan and build product it is especially helpful for software development where you're trying to build a specific tool for your needs like a ticketing system a product roadmap a project manager and much more you can build a product that is specifically designed for your team and your purpose and needs so let's get started to get started simply head on over to the linear application once you go on to the linear application click on sign up on the top right once you click on sign up on the top right you can proceed with creating your account on the linear application so I'm going to be continuing with Google. You can sign up with your email address or Facebook, Apple, or Google, whatever you prefer. I'm just signing in over here, and this is what my linear app looks like. So on the left, we have project views and teams, and then we have a my team section. So within this, on the top, we have a workspace. We have two workspaces. and I am going to go into this workspace settings and I'll delete this workspace first. And then I'm going to show you guys how you can build a workspace in the linear application from scratch. So we're just going to go on ahead and we're going to copy this over here. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back into settings and click on create or join a new workspace. So I'm just going to log on here. And once we have logged on, I can proceed with a new workspace. So firstly, I'm going to enter my workspace name, which is going to be Lily's. And this workspace name is taken. So it's going to be 08. And how large is my company? Let's say it's just me for now. And I am the founder or a leader. And now I can click on create workspace. Now, once we click on create workspace on the linear application, you can click on get started and you can choose your style. I'm going to proceed with the light style and you can open up the command menu by clicking on command K like this. So you guys can see you have different types of actions that you can perform. You will see you can filter, select and perform an action with your keyboard or your mouse. Click on continue and then click on continue once more. Now you can use GitHub, uh, but I'm gonna do this later and I'm just gonna continue on to my workspace on, on the linear application. Now over here, this will create a sample workspace. It creates a sample team as well. And you can navigate linear in multiple different ways. You can connect to GitHub or you can connect to GitLab. After you have established your connection, you can connect to Slack as well and invite your team members. This allows you to focus into your tasks and automate a lot of your task processes. But I'm going to click on create new project and we're going to build a new project for, let, let's say this is going to be our keyboard marketing campaign. And you can add a short summary. You can also add whether this project is in the backlog planned or it is um, in progress, completed or canceled. This is low priority. And then we can add a lead for this project as well. And you can add all of the people that are going to be working on the project and also add dependencies. So if one of your project is dependent upon the other, whether it might be something like one project impacting the progress or impacting the start of the next one so blocked by means that there is another project that needs to be completed before this one can begin or blocking means that a project is supposed to be started after this so until this is completed the next one can't be completed you can add the start date and the target date so let's say we're supposed to start on the 28th of august and by let's say we're supposed to finish this by the 20th of september now you can also include some milestones these milestones are going to help you in ensuring that your project stays on track so let's say for our milestones it is going to be firstly to social media launch uh, 1k likes let's say 
1k likes instagram or let's say this is our second milestone and our first one is going to be uh complete media or complete uh campaign content let's say that's our first milestone i'm gonna move this up and say we have our social media launch you know we're supposed to get 1000 likes on instagram or let's say we're supposed to post five times about the product then let's say we have to reach a certain milestone for sales within this as well so we're looking to boost um sales to 1k plus let's say that's our third goal and let's say our fourth goal is to our fourth goal is to get 10k likes on insta for this particular product then i can write a description and a project brief to collect the ideas now the difference between this and a task manager which we often think about when we think about project managers we think about things like we think about applications like trello which are more oriented to tasks rather than projects whereas linear enables you to focus on the project at hand whether it it's a marketing one an it one or any other type of project now once you do that you can open up your project and add more details within your project you can also click on issues and create issues and add documentations for your project now after that you will be able to view a to-do list so you can create a, a simple list for individual tasks that need to be completed within any type of time for your particular workspace and with that this is our tutorial on the linear application if you want to get started with linear you can get started for free with unlimited members and two teams and you can create upwards of 250 issues then you have the basic version at eight dollars per user per month with five teams and unlimited issues and files with administrative roles then you have their business version at twelve dollars per user per month or you have linear asks, unlimited teams, private teams, and guest accounts as well. If you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below. And I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those and if you find that there is something missing i will try to figure out a way to an uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video